So I've talked a lot about how to code and make websites with nothing but your phone on this channel. But once you're done making the website, you should deploy that website to the internet. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. We'll be using nothing but our Android devices and an app called SPCK Editor. Follow these steps diligently and stick around to the end to learn how I push my code directly to GitHub from SPCK Editor. The first step is to open SPCK Editor and log in to GitHub. Here's how you do it. You click on sign in with GitHub, open the link on your browser, input your GitHub credentials, and give SPK Editor access to your GitHub account. If you don't have a GitHub account, create one. It's easy, it's free. Once you are logged into GitHub, you'll see that SPCK now has your account here under the account tab. Step two is to create your app or website. I'm sure you already have a website to publish, but you do this by creating a new project and clicking on HTML project, then writing the code for your website. If you don't know how to do this, Click this video here where I built a full website using my phone on SPK Editor. Once your website is created, it's time to push your project to GitHub. Here's how you do it. You go to github.com and create a new repository under repositories you click on new give your repository a name and make sure that your repository is public then click on create repository. Once you reach this page, you are done and all you have to do is go back to SPCK editor. Once you are in SPK editor, you are going to open your project again and make sure that your project is opened properly. Once your project is open, I want you to click on the branches icon here. Then click on the branches icon again and then select the remote. And then add remote. Go back to GitHub and copy this link. Add this link here and give our new remote repository a name. This will link our GitHub repo and our remote repository here on SPCK editor, allowing us to push our code from here. You might have to try a few times because it didn't work for me for a few times. So I had to try multiple times. I'm not sure if that's a bug or, or maybe it's just my phone. Once you've added that remote repository, then we are done. We can now push our code to GitHub. To do this, we click on the branches icon. Then click on the commit icon and click on push. Select the remote repository we created. Make sure it's on the main branch and click on publish. If you are doing this for the first time, it will ask you for a GitHub access token. It's simple, just create one by clicking on the link and then clicking on 
generate token I prefer to use the old one give our remote token a name and give it an expiry date from there you will have to give our access token some permissions just give it all the permissions if you can it's okay it will have access to only that github repo just make sure that you don't reveal this to anyone someone who you wouldn't want to have full access to your github repo once it's created just copy the token and input the token and then input your github username then click on ok to confirm and our first commit to our online repository will be made we can check whether or not this is successful by going back to our browser opening our github repo and then clicking on refresh This should show you all the files that have been committed to the repo. And as you can see, all our files are present here. Congratulations if you've made it this far into the tutorial because you now have SPCK and GitHub integration. You can now upload your code to GitHub directly from SPCK editor. So if I was to go back to my project and add a new file, then commit the changes and push the code to my GitHub repo and then refresh the page, you'll see that that file now appears in our GitHub repository. So that's kind of cool, right? Step number four is to deploy the website to the internet. To do this, you open your browser and go to netlify.com. If you don't have a Netlify account, create one. If you do, just log in. After logging in, you will have to click on add new site and then deploy with GitHub. This will require you to log into GitHub and authenticate to give Netlify access to your GitHub account. This is okay, Netlify is safe. Once you've authenticated, you'll be given a list of your repository. All you have to do is to choose the new repository that we've created earlier. Make sure you launch from the main branch and also make sure that in that repository, there's a file called index.html because that's, that's the entry point of our website and your website will be launched to the internet you can click on site configuration and change the name of our site to something more appropriate and there you have it a link to our website as you can see our website is now live and you can share this link with anyone around the world so that they can check out your website one more cool thing that i want to show you here is that if you go back to SBK editor and make changes to our website here you don't have to do the entire process again because Netlify has continuous deployment so whenever our github repo changes the changes are automatically made to our website because of continuous deployment from Netlify So if I refresh here, you'll see that our changes appear here. That's kind of cool, right? Anyways, enough about this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.